Well, hello and welcome to Friend or Foe. I'm Kennedy, your game show convenience clerk. Beef jerky, anyone? In a moment, these three players will have to choose between these potential partners. Three people who they've never met, never spoken to, never even attended traffic school with. And together, these new teammates will move the world of trust, knowledge, and betrayal. They'll work together to build a trust fund and ultimately decide whether to share the money as friends or fight over it as foes. Here on Friend or Foe. Welcome back to Friend or Foe. It is time to meet our three players. Our first player is Michael. I'm an English professor. I love mountain biking, and I've run three marathons. Michael also runs around on women. He adds three different girls to the same dance. Next, we have Miriam. I'm an attorney. I enjoy practicing the law, and I can pass the California bar on the first try. But Miriam isn't exactly past paying off the $150,000 she owes in student loans. Ouch. And finally, there's Martin. I'm an accounting clerk. I love hiking, and I once financed a friend's play. Martin also likes to play the odds. He feeds his gambling habit by stealing his friend's money. Bad. Well, we've met our three players, and now it's time to meet their potential partners. Your first potential partner is Darla. I'm the mother of six children. I enjoy sewing and taking my kids to amusement parks. And to get into those amusement parks for less money, Darla lies about the ages of her kids. Next, there's TJ. I'm a marketing director, and I'm also a stand-up comic. But he's not such a stand-up guy. He once told his fiance he was sterile, so he could trick her into having a child. Oy. And finally, you have Aaron. I'm in product promotions. I enjoy dancing and running on the beach. Aaron once ran off with her boyfriend to Branson, Missouri, after telling her parents she was just going out on a leisurely hike. Well, players, those are your choices, and now it's time to pick your partners. Michael, who did you choose? I chose TJ. And what about you, dear Miriam? Who did you select? I chose Aaron. Mm-hmm. And Martin, who will it be? I chose Aaron as well. Oh, my gosh. Well, that means TJ, you and Michael are officially a team. And Aaron, since more than one person picked you, according to the Friend or Foe rule book, you get to pick your partner. Who's it going to be? I'm going to pick Miriam. All right, Miriam, you and Aaron are now a team. And that means Martin... You and Darla are also a couple by default. Our teams have been formed. That means the test of knowledge and of trust is about to begin when we return to friend or foe. It's Welcome back to Friend or Foe. Our three teams are now in game position, and every station has been specially wired so the teams can hear the sound of my voice. How are we all doing today? Woo! Well, you're going to be, you really have something to clap about now because I'm putting $200 into each of your trust funds. In this round, there are four questions worth $500 each. Both players must agree on an answer and lock it in at the same time in order to score. You've got 15 seconds for each question. You guys ready for number one? Yeah. Here we go. Which of these numbers has a value that is equal to the number of letters needed to spell it out? Eight, seven, four, or two? And begin. Four. It four. has to be four. four. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Four. Oh, four. 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 What am I going for? Yeah. I think it's eight. I think it's eight? No. No, no, no. If it's four, four. It's four. four. One, two, three, four. 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 Our three teams have locked. Michael and TJ, you guys are guessing it's four. Miriam and Aaron, you're also guessing four. Martin and Darla, you guys say four, and the correct answer is four. All right. F-O-R. Four letters. Yeah. Here's your next question. Regarding the popular children's game, Rock, Paper, Scissors, which is not true? Rock beats scissors, paper beats rock, scissors beats paper, or rock beats paper? And begin. Paper covers rock. Right. So it's got to be rock beats paper. That's not true. No, rock, rest... beats, rock beats paper because the, the... You're right, you're right. Okay, okay. Is that right? Yeah, okay, you're right. Go. Okay. Rock beats paper. Rock beats paper. Yeah. Uh, the very bottom one, rock beats paper's rock wrong. Rock beats paper's wrong. Yeah. Okay. 
Our three teams have locked. Michael and TJ say rock beats paper. Miriam and Aram say rock beats paper. Martin, you and Darla say rock beats paper. And the correct answer? Rock beats paper. Yeah. These people know they're voting for what? Here is your next question. In a People magazine survey, whose body did readers think most resembled the average woman's body? Hillary Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Kate Winslet, or Sandra Bullock? And begin. I don't think it's Kate Winslet or Sandra Bullock. I would go with Oprah Winfrey. Or Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Hillary. Pick Hillary? Yeah. Oprah Winfrey's too big, Hillary Clinton, yeah. too political. Yeah. Uh, Sandra Same. Bullock, too beautiful, so Kate Winslet. Okay. That's what I think. Let's go with it. Okay. Um, you think Hillary Clinton? I think Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, then. All right, our three teams have locked. Michael, you and TJ say Titanic star Kate Winslet was most average. Miriam, you and Aaron say Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Martin, you and Darla also say Hillary Clinton. And the correct answer, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it must be the ankles. All right, your final question of the round. Look at Miriam and Aaron. You guys have 1,700 in your trust fund. Martin, you and Darla also have 1,700. However, look at Michael and TJ. You guys only have 1,200, but you can catch up with this question. You can tie with this question, so listen carefully. Which professional sports team has a starting lineup equal to the number of Supreme Court justices? The Knicks, the Rams, the Braves, or the Galaxy? And begin. You think it's the Rams? Rams. Why do you think it's the Rams? Rams football. Football's 11. 11 Supreme Justices. Okay, I'll go. It's it's Rams. It's 11, Rams, right? Rams, okay. Rams? I think so. Let's go. It's not the Knicks. It's not, it's not the Rams. I say Galaxy. Go. All right, our three teams have locked. Michael, you and TJ think it might be the Rams. Miriam and Aaron said Galaxy. Martin, you and Darla said the Rams. And the correct answer is the Braves. Nine members on the Supreme Court. Mary, you and Aaron are moving into the next round because you have $1,700. that last question. Martin, you and Darla also did not need that last one. You're tied to $1,700. you are also going into the next round. Good job. Nice work. However, Michael and TJ, I'm so sorry. You guys only have $1,200. That's a lot of money. However, it's not enough to take you into the next round. You're the first to choose friend or foe. Go to the trust box. TJ, Michael, inside this trust box, you'll each find a button you'll use to determine friend or foe. And that decision will decide how your trust fund is divided. If you both choose friend, you'll split your earnings, each getting $600. However, if one of you chooses friend and the other breaks trust and chooses foe, foe takes the entire $1,200. Friend gets nothing. Now, if you both select foe, then you each leave with nothing, no money. So... Let's review for one moment. Michael here is a marathon runner. But is he about to hit the wall or your wallet? <laughs> and TJ told his fiance he was sterile so they could have a baby. What's he going to tell you before he sticks it to you? <laughs> I'm going to give each of you a moment to tell your teammate why they should trust you. Michael, go first. Well, TJ, they say two brains are better than one. And I chose you because I was confident we would go the distance. Mm -hmm. But... We didn't. But we still do have some money, and I think, you know, it's better to go home with some money than nothing. So we should be friends. But it doesn't take two brains to realize that having 1,200 is better than having 600. TJ, what would you like to add? Uh, yeah, I saw. I, I uh, chose. I'm glad Michael chose me because one, uh, um, when we were in there, we seemed like we we were we had chemistry together. And um, right now, you know, like I'm a big Beatles fan. And you know how they say, I get by with a little help with my friends. All right, let's see how friendly he is. It's time for each of you to place a hand inside the trust box and choose friend or foe. Time is up. Your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. So, are you a Ram fan? Or are you going to ram his head into the wall if he done a number on you? All right. <laughs> 1,200 is on the line. Very committed response. Let's see who's a friend and who's a foe. TJ and Michael. You both went friend. That means you're each taking home $600. Nice work. Yeah. See? Teams can stick together. We still have two teams here. Will the remaining teammates lift and come together like a miracle bra? Or will they let each other down when they need support the most? Find out when we return to friend or foe. Well. Welcome back to round two.
to a friend or foe, things are about to get really exciting, and I'll tell you why. Miriam and Aaron have $1,700 in their trust fund, and they are tied with Martin and Darla, who also have $1,700. However, in this round, we double the value of each question to $1,000. So at this point, anything can happen. Anything. You guys ready for round two? Yeah. All right, here's your first question. According to CNNMoney.com, which of these does not affect gas efficiency? Cruise control, higher octane, air conditioning, or speeding? And begin! Oh my god. I have no idea. Okay, it's does not, not affect air conditioning does. Yes, and cruise control, I guess. I think the other I think it's cruise control. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, cruise control, cruise control. Air, con think? air conditioning, probably. No, not, air, not conditioning. air conditioning. Higher octane. Higher octane. Higher octane. Higher octane. <laughs> All right, our teams have locked. Miriam and Aaron say cruise control, where Martin and Darla say higher octane, and the correct answer is higher octane. <laughs> Premium fuels don't provide any greater fuel efficiency. They just cost you more money. Here's your next question. The Baby Ruth candy bar was named after President Grover Cleveland's what? Daughter, mistress, baseball hero, or dog? And begin. It's not the mistress or the baseball hero. No, I don't think so. Well, well... Baby I, Ruth, um, baby I Ruth. really think it's his daughter. Or do you think okay, it's all right, let's do it. No, I'm going to test okay. you on this. Baseball hero. Baseball I'm, I'm hero? I'm thinking not, not the right time period for baseball hero. Um, daughter? daughter? Daughter. Daughter. All right, our two teams have locked. Miriam, you and Aaron say it was President Cleveland's daughter. Martin, you and Darla say his daughter. The correct answer is his daughter. <laughs> by Baby Ruth Cleveland, made infamous in the movie Caddyshack. It's not bad. Here's your next question. Which of these words can be spelled using only the last ten letters of the alphabet? Quest, Zorro, Trust, or Worst? And begin. Oh. Say Trust. Say Trust. Trust. Yeah, trust. Okay. trust. What's the last ten letters of the alphabet? Start. I don't know. We've got to go. Just, uh, quest? It's not Quest. It has an E. Okay. So trust, trust, trust. Okay. Trust. Our two teams have locked. Miriam and Aaron, you guys locked in on trust. Martin and Darla, you also locked in on trust. And the correct answer is trust. The last ten letters of the alphabet start with Q. Fourth and final question of the second round. Martin, you and Darla are leading with $1,000. You have 4700 in your trust fund. But hey, Miriam and Aaron, you guys could tie it up with this one. You have 3700 Here you go. Last question of the round. If Sylvester Stallone were to someday make Rocky 97, which Roman numerals would appear in the title? CXVII, XCVII, LXVII, or MXVII? And begin. Oh, I don't know my Roman C. numerals. C is 100. No, no, 100 comes. Take uh, uh, X, XCIVL. Number two. Second one? Yes. X is 100, so yeah. it's not the last two. It's L or C. Pick one. I don't know, so pick one. C, first one. Okay. All right, our two teams have locked. Miriam, you, you and Aaron said CXVII. Martin, you and Darla said XCVII. The correct answer, XCVII. <laughs> XC is 90 plus VII is 7. That equals 97. And I hear in Rocky 97, Sylvester Stallone is battling incontinence. All right, that means Martin and Darla are moving on to the final round. You guys have 50 in your Very nice show, nice teamwork. However, Miriam and Aaron, I'm sorry, 3,700 just was not enough for the two of you. But I am going to ask you to go to the trust box and choose friend or foe. Mm -hmm. Aaron, Miriam. Welcome to the trust box. Your trust fund is worth $3,700. And before you jump in any big decisions, let's review for just a moment. Miriam here is a lawyer, but the question is, is she a liar? <laughs> and Erin lied to her parents and went to Branson, Missouri. Can you trust anyone who went to Branson, Missouri? <laughs> I'm going to give each of you a moment to speak your mind. Miriam, you have a big mind, so you go first. Well, um, you know, I have a lot of law school debt, mm. but the debt's always going to be there. And I chose you, Erin, because you actually remind me a lot of somebody that I went to school with. She's mm. a really good friend of mine, and uh, you remind me a lot of her, and I felt like we were getting along the same that she and I got along. We were working together in the booth and, you know, helping each other out, trying to get those answers right, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for each other. So that's why I think we should vote friends. Aaron? 
I have to say, I felt Miriam, I, Miriam and I really worked together. Mm. We had we had the chemistry going. I thought we were going to go all the way, and we didn't. But we really, what I couldn't feel, she could. So Good chemistry. And you know, you're both very sweet. Both of you very, very sweet. And I must say, it's always the sweet ones who turn at the very last second and cannibalize one another. <laughs> all right. Now I want each of you to place a hand inside the trust box. It's time to choose friend or foe. Time's up. The decision has been locked. Please place your hands on the table. Erin, can you really trust a lawyer? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't she a little too sweet to be true? Well, we'll see. $3,700 online. Glad you're so quick to agree. We're about to see who's friend or foe. You went friend and you went foe! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay. Right, $3,700. Okay. She's I a know. lawyer. I know. Aren't they trying to snake everything out of there? I know. I know. I know. Oh, I feel so bad. Do you really feel bad? I feel really no, I didn't bad. think lawyers had a contract. I really do. I really thought she was going to vote foe. Oh, I you didn't really, want her to I, have the money. I God forbid. I, I was like, no, I'm going to go home. Hey, I'm going to regret she, it. As long oh, as yeah. she feels bad. Well, you've got 3,700 reasons not to regret it. When we return, Money and Alliances will be on the line as our two remaining players go for the big money, then go mano a mano to determine if their friend or foe will be right back. Well, hi there, and welcome back to our final round of friend or foe. Martin and Darla, you guys are doing great. You have $5,700 in your trust fund, and now you have a chance to earn thousands more if the two of you can continue to work together. All you have to do is answer 10 questions. Every right answer gives you $500. Every wrong answer gives you a strike. Three strikes, and the game is over. However, you answer all 10 out of 10, we will double the entire amount of your trust fund for a grand total of $21,400. Let's try and do it today. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Questions. It's time to play right or wrong. South America or Africa? Guyana. Africa. Africa. Wrong. Mm. Cold front or warm front? On a weather map represented with triangles. Oh. Warm, front. warm front. Wrong. 106 or 206? Number of bones in the human body. 206. 106. 106. You think it's 106? Because there's not that many bones. Okay, it's 106. Wrong! Sorry, three strikes. The round is over. We can't give you any more money in this final round. However, you do get to split up that $5,700. Right, will you do it amiably or will you fight over every last penny? Be the last to choose friend or foe. Come on down to the trust box. We've arrived at our final test of trust. Darla Martin. You guys know your options. You're very familiar with the game, so let's talk about this. Martin steals money to gamble. Is he a safe bet? Hmm. And Darla tried to convince you that there were 106 bones in the human body. Maybe she's convinced you don't have a backbone. <laughs> well, I'm going to give each of you some sacred time to make your case to your teammates, starting with you, Martin. Well, we, we did a good job as a team, and uh, the money I made in Vegas actually finance my friends play with so I say vote friend that's sweet he's such a sweet boy you know the sweet ones always turn you were done earlier Darla what do you have to say he looks like a good kid I have six of my own so um, I trust your eyes you must be exhausted <laughs> all right well you each have had your say the moment of truth is at hand so please each of you take a hand put it inside the trust box it's time to choose friend or foe All right, please take your hands out and place them on the table. Now, Martin, you would not dash the hopes of a woman who's got six kids, would you? Six? Six. You wouldn't do that, right? What do you think about him now? <laughs> I don't like what that do you look. see when you look in those eyes? I don't like that look. 5,700 is up for grabs. Let's find out if you're a friend or foe, Darla. You went friend. That means either you're getting $2,850 or 
You put a little too much faith in Martin, and he's getting 5,700. Only Foe knows. And Martin, you win! Oh, oh, oh those poor children. <laughs> yes! I hope you can live with yourself. I can pay off the rest of the play, too, now, so. Okay. Oh, I hope it's a good play. It better be the producers for taking the shoes away from those babies. Yes. <laughs> Do you wish you had voted Foe? No. Oh, well, that's good. Well, thank you both for playing a nice game. Martin, what? an ethical no, gambler. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on The Game, where knowledge can make you money, and money can make you a friend or foe. Woo.